what's up guys uh, today we're gonna be doing a little blind work for the boat uh, right now we're driving to the warehouse we're gonna go get a bundle of zip ties and then we're gonna go out to a field and cut down some tan grass uh, just to fill the blind in um, I talked to Oz a little bit ago he's gonna meet up with me he had some stuff he had to take care of so we're gonna get together here and start grassing in this blind. Look who we're picking up. There's Oz. What's up guys, we're back. We're gonna be grabbing all this grass. We're gonna be brushing everything in out here. Uh, get the blind all set up for this weekend. Everything's starting to die off, so we just wanna make sure we're pretty concealed. We're excited for the blind. It's nice because in the winter time it's all insulated and we can throw a buddy heater in it. And hey, not sitting there shaking like I am normally. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be doing a couple hunts this weekend. We're going to go chase some wood ducks on a pretty cool spot that I know. We're going to go chase those. They're, I mean, we shoot them here in Utah, but not as much as other places, especially like back east. Uh, so we're going to try to go shoot some of those and then also we're going to try to go fill my swan tag. Uh, I'm after a very mature bird so I'm going to be passing up a lot of shots. Uh, so we're going to get after this. Alright guys, so we're just out here in this field. Um, I think we're in the middle of heroin somewhere. But we're just going around picking up bundles of grass. There's little root balls down here at the end so it kind of stays together. I'm just grabbing it and showing it under my arm. and grabbing loads of grass to grass in the blind. This is exactly how we did the blind for Jordan's blind also. So yeah, we're just gonna keep grabbing some grass and fill up the whole bed of Connor's truck over here. So, yep, there she off. is right over there. So he's gonna go drop that off and we're gonna, we're gonna fill that bed full. All right guys, we're back. Truck is full. So it is there. loaded <laughs> to the max we could probably smash it down to fit more in but i think this should be plenty so yeah the blind's about three feet tall by 17 feet long so we could probably cut all these in half honestly yeah so if we need to but if we need more we can just come back and pick some up literally <laughs> yeah exactly it's the best uh we're gonna head home we're gonna call mark and we're going to see if he can come help us. It's going to be a lot of work to blind it in for this weekend. Uh, I have tomorrow off, which is a Friday. Fortunately, I work all day until 5 o'clock. So if we need to get any more, I mean, I can run out here or if I'm busy. Luckily, it's just like 20-minute drive over here. Yeah, luckily we have time. We can just jet over here real quick and pick some up. So we're going to get on the road. This is kind of the stuff that we just grabbed from that field. Well, I'd say it's more like this rocky grass here, but I did not want to pay that price for like 10 bags of it. So, I mean, yeah, I need to see if they've got, oh yeah, right here. Okay, so they've got like this burlap and then they have this one. This one's a little bit more our color that we want, at least the same, yeah. So we're gonna get this one. We're getting this just to cover the motor. Uh, the blind has like a motor cover, but it's kind of small. It's meant for like 23 horse uh, mud motors, and mine's a 35 BFI. Not too bad on the price either, it's 19.99. Yep. And we figured we could, we could build something out of the same stuff we're building the blind out of, but we'd pay almost twenty dollars in zip ties. So exactly. We're just gonna get that and then just cover it up. All right, guys, we are gonna head out of here. Make sure you stop by your local shields. 
and they've got some awesome stuff. I mean, these are the only guys that have really kept stuff around through waterfowl season. So uh, we're going to head home. Catch you in a minute. All right, guys. Well, it's hard to see. It's light. Uh, the light has run out, so we're doing this in the dark. Luckily, we have a little shop light over there, but uh, it's kind of hard to see. But we're just going through. We're weaving it through. These have like little pockets and little stuff like that to shove these into. This is the beaver tail boat blind, and this is the 18 foot model. So we're just gonna, it's just a lot of monotonous work. So we're just gonna go ahead and just start brushing all this in. And we'll tune back with you guys. All right guys, uh, we're about done with the blind. We have a little bit of patching to do, uh, but this is it. We got all the way around here. Sorry, it's night. We're showing you guys with a shop light here. So we went all the way around with this and then we also I messed up a couple of years ago and the buddy heater decided to catch a hole so I actually just made this a door so we can get in and out so we don't have to fold it back up but uh yeah that's that's this we'll show you the other side Here's the other side. So it hides it fairly nice and the top of the reeds go about two feet over the blind itself. So when we're standing, we'll be pretty concealed as well. Um, all those reeds that we had, this is all that's left. The truck is completely empty and just like some dirt and stuff, but we used everything that we picked. So. I think we hit that just right. All right, guys, I think that is a wrap for this video. We want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell so you can see more of our channel. Uh, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>